Welcome to Shraddha Shala. Today we're going to talk about pregnancy and yoga. How yoga is beneficial during our pregnancy time, how it can help you to ease your emotions, your hormones and ease your pain that you're going through when you're coming close to every single trimester. So in that regard, we have invited a very charming and very talented guest, Manju Narang. She has been teaching yoga from last 15 years. She has her own yoga studio. She's a founder of Yoga Sutra, which is located in Ahmedabad, India. And she's a certified yoga teacher, certified yoga therapist, and certified yoga teacher to teach pre and postnatal. And she has been running pre and postnatal classes in her institute. So we thought, why not we speak to Manju Narang and find out that how yoga can be beneficial during our pregnancy time. So let's welcome our very good, very dear guest, Manju Narang. Shraddha, thank you for having me here today and thank you for beautiful introduction. You're most welcome. So Manju, one question that always comes in my mind whenever I do any interview or whenever I speak to any teacher because I really have a curiosity to understand why you choose yoga as your path. What was the reason behind that? Yeah, so a uh, very good question, uh, Shraddha. Uh, see, yoga is a science of right living. Yeah. So when it's the right way, when it's the way of life, then it has to be incorporated in your daily life. And it, uh, it applies to me and it applies to all, I guess. So mm -hmm. that's how my journey begin, uh, begins. And uh, I would like to share a personal thing also here. Yes. Go ahead. But, uh, I uh, suffered with some disease since my birth, actually. It was liver related. So mm -hmm. throughout my childhood, I had uh, rough days and rough years. And uh, I started practicing yoga 30 years back. That is three decades back. Oh my. Uh, and I started improving my health, actually. That was the first click that it worked for me and it will work for others. So that was the first point which triggered my interest in yoga. But then I got busy with my studies and, you know, my job as a research officer and then... Uh, after doing all that, I again came back to my original uh, profession, which was the love for yoga. So oh. I started teaching 15 years back. I took my formal training in yoga. And then after that, I did many courses on yoga. W wonderful, wonderful journey. You no, know, then, then I must say that you better know the essence of yoga. That uh, mm -hmm. because you have gone through it, and now you know it. That what wonderful things yoga can do to our life by yeah. um, incorporating some valuable, you know, the asanas or our lifestyle, and that can help us to gain our strength back. Wonderful. So, uh, Manju, uh, our, today we're going to talk about as pregnancy and yoga. So, how yoga is beneficial during our pregnancy days? Because I see that, that everybody is not keen to what yoga when they are pregnant. Sometimes they have some fear in their mind, you know, that if I do yoga, I might undergo some circumstances and I might not be too healthy for me. So all that they have in mind. So how yoga is beneficial during pregnancy time? Yeah, so before going to yoga in pregnancy, uh, I will uh, say a few things about yoga as a whole. Yeah. Right. So uh, yoga in today's uh, times, actually, most of the diseases are psychosomatic. We all know 80 to 90 percent of the diseases Absolutely. are psychosomatic. And um, sage, sage in yoga, Rishi Patanjali, sage yeah. Patanjali has written a uh, text on yoga a thousand years back. And he explains and defines yoga as yoga chitta vritti nirodha. If you control the states and functioning of mind, you can have a happy and healthy life. Absolutely. Right? So uh, uh, yoga beautifully does that job and he has given ways and means to control the functioning of uh, your mind. Then the question arises, why not yoga? 
right uh, and if we talk about pregnancy yoga so it has lot of benefit during pregnancy right pregnancy is a beautiful phase a woman is going through in her life and it helps them physically emotionally mentally psychologically and spiritually so they can have a beautiful journey if they they practice yoga, yoga uh, during pregnancy if we talk about benefits at physical level there are new models like their oxygen level gets improved their respiration get better their circulation gets better they can have a better digestion or metabolism yeah. their immunity improves and all the energy uh, in the body prana in the body they, they get better and all the blockages of the body also are gone down so absolutely if you absolutely right. so <clears throat> there are numerous benefits at physical level and everyone knows that but yeah. it helps a woman at emotional uh, mental and psychological and spiritual levels also like if they practice uh, pranayama along with asana they help them uh, balance their emotions and they help them balance their mental state because it's a lot of uh, turmoil going going absolutely down. yes yes i i believe in that that's that's how you know my journey started um when i was pregnant like uh, i i went through a lot of emotions um, internally because being away from the family being in canada and giving birth to a child and when your parents are not there so that was one of the emotional setback that i had and also you know you suddenly you gain a lot of weight so uh, yeah. i was like what is this happening in my first pregnancy why i'm going through a lot of things and that that sads you somewhere that stuck somewhere in your heart and that's where i have felt it when i started doing yoga during my pregnancy it was a relief it was like something has gone from your body that which was stuck somewhere in your heart and you are more light you're more blessed and the feeling of enjoyment was like fantastic and that's where i thought that why not start your journey for yoga so it's beautiful uh, journey uh, during pregnancy we in incorporate yoga you as you mentioned there are many benefits to it so when one should start practicing yoga during pregnancy like which month or trimester that you suggest one should start practicing yeah so that is very important as people know there are only three times to i would say the journey starts one trimester before the conception you can call it trimester trimester zero right yes. because that is the time to you know work on your physical mental emotional and spiritual level that's the time your body gets prepared for conception and to bear and rear the child actually so that is the time 3 months before the conception is the right time to join a prenatal yoga class oh that's that's really good to know that's really good to know because um i have people around me that has complained you know that i'm not able to conceive and they have stress and they actually don't conceive and they say you know when we have forgotten about it and now i'm pregnant so i think yeah. uh you said it right it the journey should start before we conceive the baby to have yeah. the, and we know our, also our body yes yeah here uh pregnancy yoga is referred by the doctors now because Uh, most of the women young women are not able to conceive because of the amount of stress or anxiety or fear they have in their lives so even uh, those women who go for ivf they also recommend yoga and yoga teachers uh, and it helps them immensely if they join yoga and it, for some it gets quick like this so they join and next month uh, they conceive because the amount of stress goes down significantly yes no that's that's i firmly believe that yoga really really helps to calm your hormones and calm your nervous system that you know that we are always in flight and fight mode with our body so 
Yes, I, I truly, truly believe that. So Manju, have you ever encountered um, a woman that they are scared to do yoga, being in class as well? Like you, when you get students, they are not, they're not open up for the idea of doing yoga, but they come to the class just because they feel it's good. But have you come across such women and what's your, uh, what's your suggestion to them? And that's a very uh, good question, Shraddha. And uh, I think you are an experienced teacher because only an experienced teacher would know what kind of, you know, questions or dilemmas people uh, uh, they face in the classroom. <laughs> there are many women who would say, oh, oh I, I, I may get a miscarriage if I do this asana or that asana. Um, uh, I, I will not be able to move around freely because of my growing belly. But teacher, teaching is an art. Yoga teaching is an art. Yeah. Right. So yoga teacher has to play with their minds also. They are the counselors also. And but I have seen uh, if they join a class with so many questions, uh, they are all settled in a month's time. Mm. They're all fever and anxiety. It goes away with time. It it is the comfort which a teacher has to give it to you, the students. So it's a beautiful bonding. You know, we we sing that prayer, Sahana Vaktu, Sahana Bhunaktu. Let's learn from each other. So yeah. there should be a comfort level and trust between both the teacher and the student. Mm -hmm. So so that's how their journey also begins. And we are also comfortable teaching them. Uh, but yes, it's a very common uh, mind in that they have. Hmm. Yeah, no, oh, that's that's very good suggestion. Yeah, that's comforting relationship between teacher and uh, the student. And once they trust the teacher, I think they will open up. They will accept the idea of getting into a pose which is beneficial to their own body. Yeah, so that's that's when we, when we when we give them all the benefits of every move what we make in the class, so their the confidence uh, confidence level increases. That's yeah. how it goes. Absolutely right. So, uh, Manju, what are your recommendations um, to the women, those who cannot practice uh, yoga, coming to a yoga studio? Like everybody doesn't have that much hours sometimes in life to walk down to a studio and practice and they have their corporate life, busy schedule. So what are your recommendation to such ladies when they're pregnant? What things they can keep in mind and what all things they can do in at their home as well during their pregnancy phase? Yeah. So here, uh, before going on uh, recommendations, I would say there is a myth that people correlate yoga with the asanas. Yeah. So asanas are not the only thing to do in the classroom. Asana in any way is just a drop in the ocean, I would say. Yoga is much more than asana. Absolutely right? right. You know what? It's a beautiful statement because people only associate yoga with twisting. And yes. with forward folds and all that inversions, how good my arm balances are, but they forgot it's beyond than what we know and what we think about it. You you said it absolutely right, Manju. So when I said this, so uh, all the answers are here that there are many practices like pranayam, breathing techniques they can follow at home. They can uh, do mantra chanting, which is very good uh, to have uh, uh, spiritual baby in future, right? So because, you know, uh, when we are in the classroom, uh, when baby is entering, I mean, the soul is entering in the body, uh, in the womb, that is around the fourth month uh, of pregnancy. At that time, uh, the consciousness of the child, the uh, the the uh, fetus is wide open. So at that time, they are very receptive. They take all the things nicely when their consciousness is all quiet, wide awake. So that's the time you need to fill in some mantra chanting or something spiritual, whatever, based on your beliefs, actually. Yes. Right? So you can chant some mantra and it would directly go in the soul. Mm -hmm. uh, 
enters the uh, child. And there are nature practices they can practice. There are uh, some cleansing techniques like Vaman is very important for mm -hmm. women who, who experience uh, nausea. Yeah. So there are many practices. They can learn it through a trained teacher and then they can uh, practice at home at their own convenience. Mm -hmm. so, and that's all like pranayam, breathing, cleansing practices. Nature walks, mantra chanting, umkar chanting, they are the great way to be. Absolutely. That's such a beautiful description. Like when you told about the soul, that fourth month, the soul enters, and it's beautiful. No, I think that's the most um, good time uh, to have a meditative, uh, spiritual awakening towards that month, um, fourth month, and five month, and then when we go forward of course we need more physical strength as well in the body because our spine is like just taking curves and yeah. we we really need to open up that as well so no it's beautiful uh description so my thank you so much uh, manju for um, giving this input to us and i'm i'm sure it's gonna help a lot of you know the ladies because Still, I see in yoga studios, the Hatha Yoga or Ashtanga, Vinyasa, all other forms of yogas are incorporated. But when it comes to prenatal, uh, there are still very less classes and there are still very less exposure that a woman get sometimes. And some of them are still not aware of this fact that how yoga can be beneficial to them during their pregnancy because that is the time where they learn a lot about themselves and their inner consciousness as well. So uh, that's beautiful uh, description that you have given us and the recommendations that you have given us. And I'm sure it's going to help a lot of ladies out there and help us to spread more awareness of yoga to the world because I think everybody if start contributing towards it I think we can make it better world and better living for everyone around us so uh, thank you so much for your time and uh, happy teaching always I would say teach regularly and give us more more good updates about uh, not only pregnancy but other forms of yoga as well Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me here, Shraddha. Thank you. Thank you.